Thanks for joining me for another video. This is a comparison of the Axiom to the IQ Tour Solid. Both balls are drilled 5x5x2.5, five by five by and, and as usual, we're on the house shot first and the 2019 Nationals DNS shot in the back half of the video. From a number standpoint, the only two things the Axiom and the IQTS really have in common are that they're solid covers and have a similarly very low RG. On the lane, there are some similarities, but as I've mentioned in other videos, I see so often where people post a question saying, hey, I've been looking at a solid ball because I don't have one on my bag, so should I get a UFO or a Hustle Inc? Obviously, the Axiom and IQTS are closer than those two are, but cover type designators are much less important than the overall ball reaction and the shape they create on the lane. The idea behind the Axiom and the IQTS are the same. The Axiom is just built for much heavier volumes. I have to get really deep to keep it in play on the house shot, which it still handles better than I thought it would or it really should, but I have a lot better and more comfortable options on this side of the lane. The IQTS is one of them. Out of the box, it's got a fair amount of strength. The low RG and medium strength cover on the higher friction and medium volume pattern are a match. It's going to control the early parts of the lane and give me a medium response down lane. This is absolutely perfect for the left side as there's extra free hook and free shape and that's great for something that's generally earlier and smoother like the IQTS. During my previous few year run as a lefty, this was my favorite ball for really anything I bowled on. I had most of my best scores with it and despite the joke on the right side being that it's the best ball in the world at getting 9, it's an ideal reaction for conditions where you're trying to control more friction or too much shape like the left side often features. That's what it's designed to do. Control the pocket and at least get 9 on tougher conditions. 9 spare is a lot better than S6-3. And unless you've got a higher rev rate, the IQTS probably won't see a lot of action on a house shot for most people on the right side of the lane. However, again, on the left side of the lane with a little shine, the extra shape offsets the typically smoother reaction of this ball and gives you this amazingly effective look. On the 2019 Nationals DNS shot, the Axiom is a pretty good look, and again, while I'd probably take out the idle at box on the fresh and leave the lane shine on the Axiom for a game two and beyond ball, it's a comfortable look for me on this pattern because this is what it's designed for. The more comparisons I do, the more I respect the Axiom. You can nitpick a few shots here and there, but throughout all of these videos, the Axiom was the easiest to film for on this pattern, even though I filmed this my first week back as a lefty. There was always a zone or an area on the lane that was much tougher for the other balls. I didn't really have that with the Axiom. I was uncomfortable with everything playing straighter, I'm going to have to reconcile that of course, but I had no issues moving in with the Axiom and I did with every single other ball I compared it to for one reason or another. The Idol was too slow, the Idol Pro was too quick, Wild Street just doesn't have the guts, Pro Motion doesn't like angle, and the IQ Tour isn't the biggest fan of angle either. Now speaking of the IQ Tour, it was pretty comfortable at 3rd arrow, not so much from 2nd or 4th. The left side of the lane is so tight on sport patterns, you end up having even less room inside than normal and now there's hang outside. You get used to having to be really firm at the bottom on this side to get the ball down the lane. The punch is there down lane to make it pick up and drive, but you have to get it there. On this, I still have to be firm, but I also have to have touch and I have to get it left early to get it down the lane, but not get it too far left too quick. This is why lefties like Jacob Buttruff are so good. They push it or shove it through the middle to get the length, and the motion on the back end gets it to pick up and drive. I still have some righty brain fighting me on this side because if you do what Jacob does on the right side of the lane, you're going to leave flat tens all day, so I end up trying to circle the middle of the lane too much, and that just doesn't work. I know there's a few relevant comparisons still out there, but we've taken a pretty deep and well-rounded look at the Axiom over the last couple weeks, and it holds up. The thing I'm the most impressed with is the versatility, and that's the exact thing I initially thought it'd be lacking because of how strong it is. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. Thanks for watching.